I have a very vivid memory of being in junior high and having to sit in a study hall during PE class because as wonderfully non-athletic as I am, uh, when they tried to teach me to do a layup with a basketball, I fell right onto my ankle. <laughs> so I ended up at study hall for a few weeks. I had to sit as an eighth grade girl in a study hall full of senior guys and me. It was totally humiliating, so I just tried to be as invisible as possible. The moderator of the study hall was also our high school football coach, a very tough man, and no one would ever cross him. He would sometimes leave the study hall to go get a coffee or something. At this point, one day when he had walked out of the class, the class clown of the senior class, his name was Steve, decided he'd do something funny. We each sat at individual old round tables that had a base in the middle instead of four legs, just one base. Steve decided to get up from his chair, get on his table, and start jumping across all the tables in the library. And I saw him coming toward me, flying through the air, and I, I was just wished the ground could open up and swallow me before he landed on my table. As he was midair between the table next to me and mine, the football coach came back in. Steve, of course, was shocked, and he landed awkwardly on my table, which knocked the table over, and papers, books went everywhere. It, it wasn't funny anymore, as the high school coach pointed at him and told him exactly how quickly he needed to get himself to the office. It was very silent at that time. I've thought about that and laughed a lot because now I have three teenage sons, so I could see this happening in my life. But, you know, Steve would never have gotten up on tables and started jumping from table to table if the coach had been in the room. He would never have done that. And, ladies, you and I may have different times of the day, and hopefully daily, that we connect with the Lord, read our Bible, pray, spend some time with the Lord, even on busy days. I'm a night owl, and I can imagine that sometimes for some of you, an evening time is when you're most awake, and that might be a good time for you to have devotion time. But no matter when you do your daily devotions, may I suggest that as you wake up in the morning, before you even hit the floor with your feet, you get a consciousness of God. You'd say to him, good morning, Lord, maybe in your mind, maybe not audibly. You gain consciousness that the Lord is with you in your life. I want to be aware of the Lord before I do anything else. Uh, talk with him as you're going about your morning, getting ready. At the start of the day, connect with the Lord. Because, ladies, if we live our entire day without one thought that the Lord is with us, we will live differently than if we live in the constant knowledge that the Holy Spirit is with us. He is with us. He never leaves us. But if we live with the constant knowledge that he's with us, we will elevate our living we will also elevate our giving. We will ele elevate our loving. And the point is, with the knowledge of the Lord in our lives, we are our best selves. So let's start each day acknowledging the Lord, asking him for his help, telling him that we love him, thanking him. And this week, let's walk in love, loving God and loving others. 